Subscribe to Kuanella. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back with another video. And sorry my hair is like this. I just got out of the shower. But yeah. Today I'm going to be making jelly cube slime. And I'm really excited for this video because this is actually my very first time making jelly cube slime. So yeah, um, before we get on to this video, I, I'm going to be posting every other day except um, Sundays. But yeah guys, other than that, let's get on to making jelly cube. Okay guys, so first what you're going to be needing is a bowl something to mix with and I'm using this jumbo popsicle stick um you're going to be needing glue but my glue is like too big to fit so here's the glue I'm going to be using I don't know if you guys can see but here it is I'm using Elmer's clear glue and I'm using a gallon next thing you're going to be needing this is optional food coloring and I'm just going to be using some glitter, um, a popsicle stick, and I'm going to be using some scissors. You can use a knife, but I prefer using scissors. Um, next thing you're going to be needing is these sponges, and you can get these anywhere, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, H-E-B. I'm using these two sponges. And last but not least, some slime activator. And I just put my slime activator in a water bottle. And it's just um, some borax into some warm water. Other than that, let's get to making some. Okay, now I'm just going to get my bowl and pour some clear glue. You can pour as much as you want. That's as much as I'm going to be pouring. Next, I'm going to be getting my food coloring. Now I'm just gonna get my food coloring and I just put on this popsicle stick and I'm just going to mix it until all the food coloring comes off and it's all mixed in. Okay, I just wanted to add one more drop so that's what I did. Now I'm just going to be mixing, and this is my favorite part, because, I mean, it looks like jello, literally, it looks like jello right now, and it's just a really pretty green. Okay, now I'm going to be getting my glitter, and I'm using this chunky glitter. You can get glitter anywhere, you can get a Dollar Tree anywhere you want and you can put as much glitter as you want as little as you want and i'm just going to mix that and doesn't that look so pretty i just like love the color and love the way it turned out now i'm going to be getting my slime activator I'm going to pour a little bit at a time until it turns into the slime consistency that I want. And if you guys don't have any borax, you can also use contact lens solution with some baking soda, or you can use laundry detergent such as Tide. And yeah. But I'm just going to be mixing that until it all comes in to the slime I want it to. So, yeah. It looks really, really good. So, I'm just going to keep on mixing. Okay guys, so this 
is the finishing slime and it is a bit sticky because I'm not done. I still need to add um, these in there, but yeah, this turned out really, really good. I like really, really love the color and the glitter, but I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to be cutting these now. So first, you can get these. Oh, I have no idea where that went. But now I'm just going to be cutting these. And this is about how big I'm going to cut them. You can cut these as small as you want. But this. This is about the size I'm going to cut them in. And I'll come back with you guys when I'm done cutting everything. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm finally done and I cut all of these. And there is a lot, but hopefully it's enough to make jelly cube slime. So now I'm just going to be mixing it and some favorite part. Now I'm just going to be mixing it and we'll see. Ooh. Okay, this is so, so cool. You can put as much as you want in here or as little as you want, but so far this is like really coming together really good. I put all of them right now, and this is a really cool um, jelly cube slime. I really love it. But I feel like it needs a little bit more of those jelly cubes, so I'm going to cut some not all of it, but half of it, and yeah. So I'll be back with you guys when I'm done cutting. Okay, I'm, I'm done, and so far I have all of these. Now let's mix it again. I, first I'm going to mix about this much. I'm just gonna mix until like it can't hold it. Just mix all of this. Okay, this is like amazing right now. Like, look at that. And the reason it's not clear is because after, um, I added food coloring and because at, if you make clear slime, you have to wait about one to two days or until it clears up. So this slime is amazing, but yeah. Okay, I'll show you guys in a close-up how it looks. This is really, really nice. Yeah guys, so I hope you guys liked this video. This is it for today and for being my first time, I think that I did a really, really good job. It's really amazing, really cool, it's really unique. So I like it and yeah. So yeah guys, as I said, this is it for this video. Um, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment down below if 
you have any good ideas for what my next video could be but yeah guys um i'll see you guys in my next video bye